Hi and welcome to the Funk Room channel. It's been um, modifying this uh, Roberts RC818. This is my original one. That you've probably seen in all the other videos. Um, and we had a problem with the the tape unit not working. Um, despite having new belts and everything, um, couldn't really work out what was wrong with the actual tape mechanism. So we changed uh, the mechanism out of this one. Um, this is another early one. I think this is the later one. If you can see the the writing is different on the front and the back. Um, so I guess it's, I don't know if you want to call it a Mark 1 or a Mark 2. But, um, they then changed to RC828. And I thought the only difference was that it was silver. But I have seen black versions of the 828. <clears throat> Can't think what else is uh, different. So, <coughs> changed the cassette unit out of that into this. Um, that, that now works fine. Um, had a problem with the speed though. Um, too slow. I think it's so hard to adjust. You've got to take the whole cassette unit out and turn it over. It's actually just behind here. It's a um, an adjustment on the motor, which would, I would think would just be a, a flat screwdriver. Um, it's better. It's not so slow. I think it may be a bit fast. I've tried measuring it against. I think the I did it against this against the Technics. You know, because you can adjust the speed. But this is quartz lock, so this is a good reference, I think, for speed. Um, might be a tad too fast, but only if you really know the song can you tell it's so so slight. It'd be good if there was a hole about here. Um, so, and you could get through and just adjust it on the fly, basically. Someone said there was a moulding inside where they think that um, there was once, on perhaps even an earlier version, there were a hole, but the moulding they're on about is not in the right place. So, uh, yeah don't think that's right um, so what I also found was was that um, the innards of this one like the main RF board um, not only did I nick the cassette the, 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 the RF on this one was better than my original ie there was more sensitivity on it um, Selectivity seemed to be a bit be a bit better as well. It just received everything much better. I don't know why. These two received the same. <coughs> Sorry, this one, my new one received the same. Um, but this one was uh, far better. So in the end, I've changed the whole of the innards of this one and put it in my case. Basically, there was not a lot left of the original. The case and knobs are mine. This is the much better. Um, condition one than these two. These two are a bit, some places a bit um, damaged, a bit shabby really. Um, <clears throat> and while I had it apart today, I um, took the bit of solder off the circuit board, so you now don't get the you don't get the chuffing. You just get smooth tuning. And yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it is far better. So anyway, that's the latest with the um, 818. I don't know if there's any other mods that um, that we can do. And I think there's a website somewhere I saw yesterday of someone that did a lot of mods on these. So we'll have a look. But um, <clears throat> they're a good radio. Um, people I think used to knock them, think they were basic. But in tests, there's not a lot of difference between this and the, and the the best one ever which I believe is the 2001D from Sony I still believe that is the best it's not a lot of difference between this and that um, it's quite amazing this was a cheap radio at the time um, yeah I found, found it really good anyway thanks for watching